Hey guys, this is Desmo Tutorials, and today we're going to be looking at a melodic dubstep super saw. And so this is what it sounds like with uh, basses and drums and everything in the song. There. Oops, crap, sorry. Here's just the super saw. see there are four main layers and we're going to be going over every single one of those but I'm not going to show you exactly how to make them instead just to save time I'm going to give a free download description of all four of these all right so we're going to start with the super saw by itself it sounds like this and so we're just going to go over the basics of it um, clearly it's a super saw so you want to have a saw wave so I have square saw 2 on them white table position all the way up just because you want it on a saw and then I detune these so it gives it a fuller sound and dimension expander I mean reverb I didn't do much I just added this in case you want to use it like just gives it a little stutter so yeah that's the super saw you can go and download that again in the description and that is one of the main parts of the super saw but it's not it's also not the only thing you need because if you just said that it'd be very empty Oops. all right so now i'm gonna go over the wait my computer okay the vibrato synth by itself it sounds pretty bad but in context with everything else it sounds good so it sounds like by itself now with the super saw already starting to sound a lot more full so just give that a quick little look pretty basic just square saw additive one in rough math with classic two dimension expander and bit crusher you know it's really it. it's really simple you know and of course with vibrato which is mapped by this so yeah and so that's those two well, also I left out one layer that isn't very important but I'm sure you can make yourself it is the sub bass. I didn't, it's not in the song yet, so I just decided you can probably make that yourself. But, anyways, here is another main part of the super song. It gives it more gritty, higher end sound, is what it sounds like. Again, it sounds terrible by itself, but with everything else, it sounds pretty good. This is just square saw, kangaroo, another square saw. With you know, I mean that's pretty basic too. And then this last one, I think this for me, this synth right here, the slider, always varies in between what song I'm making. So what I normally do, if you listen to the bit, this sound is it's like a bass. Always make it the same bass as the main bass is. So if you listen. They have the same exact sound, the same exact oscillators and everything, just different side chaining and everything. Now if I had different bases up here with, instead of an AI, maybe it was a chrome, this synth would be a chrome. And I would, it just makes makes the bases and the super saw go better together. And so for this one it's just an AI, it's kind of like this Zomboy kind of sound to it. And that is it for the four layers. Now, what I did for the space, I just EQ'd it like that, like all of these bases, same exact thing. For this, I just put up the high end. This one, I just cut out frequencies. And this one, I just cut out frequencies too. And now the only thing I did do was, oh, you gotta make sure you have side chain. So if you look, see how side chain then I'm, I put this into an audio bus and sent them all to this auxiliary track. And here I added um, compressor, channel, channel EQ. The EQ is the only thing that drastically changed it. So if you want to copy down these, 
this little settings and just pause the video right here. But here is this without the EQ on. Here's with it on. Okay, not much of a difference when we're in, when you don't have headphones on, because this is coming from my speakers, but it really does change it a lot. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And remember, all these are in download, all of these you can download, but then again, you also need to add a sub bass to that, which is, you know, just a sine wave. And so, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching.